This is how the finished nose gear looks and works. So it's all assembled, all glued, all ready to rock. Uh, I've done a little bit of touch-up paint in connection with a few areas where I had to scrape some off to get the gear doors to open all the way. <clears throat> there is the pull-pull arrangement for steering purposes. Works just fine. If we zoom in here, you can see the system for opening the gear doors. And if we close them, there's a lip, and the lip hides the gap. You'll notice this little tongue at the back here as well holds the rear door flush with the front doors. Uh, if you don't do that, just the weight of the trailing link tends to cause that rear drawer, door to hang down a little bit. <coughs> so, just a small amount of work to put a little tongue on there and keep everything all nice and flush. And you can verify it's all flush by just doing this here. The camera to focus properly. So, yeah, everything. It's nicely there. So, something to take note of though is notice this little link here, this thing here. So, this is for cat launches, and you'll see that I haven't tied it down. Uh, so, it flops around, and this would be the worrisome location right here. When the fuse is upside down, inverted, this thing hangs straight down, and the question might be. Where does it go? So what I did was I took a little piece of tin, cut a bit of a channel down there, and where that thing goes, it strikes the tin, and then it gets deflected back, and it rests right tight against that servo there that controls steering. So I want you to watch that happen here. Just got to get out of the way of the. So from a different angle, let's try this again. So there you can see it tucked away. So that allows the that link to hang down. I think it looks kind of cool. It looks kind of like a carrier version of a plane. And, uh, and yet there's no interference regardless of what the orientation of the fuselage is when you hit the retract switch. By the way, the buzzing, I don't know why, I had it all sorted out and now I've got a bit of a buzz. Um, the servo is in the right position. It's completely vertical. There it is there. So there should be no force on the servo and yet still I have some buzzing happening. So I'll have to sort that out.